and James Weaver. So the full lineup. The Bayesian in lane one, that's Michael Nichols. David Zabrowski, the Poland is in three. Amer Latin, the first of the Americans, in lane four. Russell of Jamaica in lane five. Kra of United States in lane six. Furuya of Japan, who was very impressive in qualifying in both his heat and semi-final. He's unbeaten so far in Big Gosh. He's in seven. Treston, Great Britain in eight. Weaver, Great Britain in lane nine. Michael Nichols, 13.42, man. Here is Zabrowski. 13.48 is lifetime best. Perhaps the number three of the European finalists. Amir Latin. Over the three foot sixes, finished fifth in the NCAAs recently. Fine technician. Well, Dejour Russell, the fastest qualified, just 16. In fact, six of his seven rivals in this final are more than two years older than him. Kra, US champion, ran his lifetime best in winning that title, 13 25. Won his semi finals, done nothing wrong so far. You can say the same of this man. Fastest in the heat, a winner in the semi-final. Treston turned 18 yesterday, celebrated by making this final. Can he go a step further and get into the medals? Here's James Weaver, perhaps the best of the Britons. 13.40 yesterday, that was three-tenths of a second, faster than his countrymen. Well, Dejour Russell finished just third in his heat. He could have been disqualified in his semi when Tabo Machinelli copped the blame. Russell certainly moved alongside him, though. But in that race, Russell bit three tenths of a second of his lifetime best to make himself the world number one. He's powerful, he's strong, but he's also young. By far the youngest in this final. Just Matt Treston is less than two years older than he. And even Treston is 21 months older than the Jamaican. Two Americans, two Britons, a Bayesian, a Pole, a Japanese, and perhaps most significantly, a Jamaican in this final. And Dejour Russell The last to settle into his blocks after uttering a little prayer. Well, his prayers have been answered so far. Totally unimpressive in the heat. A revelation in the semi final. Russell, four from the right, slowly out of the blocks. It's Kra who leads early on with his countryman Latin. And Russell's got a huge amount of work to do. He's not going to get there. It's going to be Kra who's going to take this title. For you alongside him. In the end, Russell couldn't reproduce what he did in the semis. Marcus Kra had done nothing wrong to this point. Neither had Furuya. And they produced similar performances here. Latin it was. The second of the Americans who came through to take a medal as well. But Marcus Kra, the US champion, deposed as the world number one yesterday by Russell. Put him in his place here. A lifetime best of 13.25. You can't ask any more than that. It may not have been the fastest time in this event over the course of two days, but it was the fast time when it mattered in the final. The United States have another champion. And they have a one too, I think, Martin, as well, just as they got in that women's up 800 meters a few minutes ago. Didn't make any mistakes, equaling his lifetime best with that victory run. And you're right, Russell, a dreadful start there in that yellow Jamaica center of picture. And he looked cumbersome here, doesn't he? He's nothing like the fluency and the zip of yesterday in the semi-final. Kra, by contrast, very, very quick over the barriers. Gets that lead leg over and down so quickly back onto the track. Good running from Furio of Japan on the near side. Does he take second? Oh, it's got to be down to millimeters. But it is a one-two for the USA. Latin does take the silver. Furio 
settles for a national record or an area under 20 record in fact for Asia that is and the bronze and again in the theme with men here producing and women in fact their best performances when it matter most the first three all ran the fastest races of their lives as did David Zabrowski who was the first European coming through in fifth the Britons were in seventh and eighth but they've done tremendously well just to make this final as uh, Kras celebrates there. Knew he'd got it right. The focus was quite masterful. Didn't make one single error. Clipping barriers is not an error in 110 meter hurdles. It happens. You can ride those barriers well. Get over them. And despite the pressure being applied, and he must have been sensed for you to his right and his teammate Latin a couple of lanes, lanes to his left. There's Latin, third from right. He must have sensed that, Martin. But didn't he get a great start? He was applying pressure in his own way on the rest of them by that marvellous uh, surge out of the blocks. It's very economical sprinting, but the reality is it's the best sprinter who gets that. Fastest out of the blocks, the best through 30 meters, the best pickup. Technically, he was able to meet his speed and he had that race sorted out by 30 or 40 meters. Latin had a couple on his way down. Puruya, well, he looked to me all over the uh, silver medalist with a hurdle to go, but he uh, rather lost his way over that last barrier. But Kra, Latin, Puruya gold, silver and bronze.